Hello friends and welcome to the Cold War Prepper. My name is Lee. I was uh, I had a chat here recently with uh, another great uh, <coughs> creator, Prepping by Faith, and, and we were talking and saying, you know, what we probably need to do is put together a uh, what we got at the Amazon uh, days sales that, that happened on, what was it, 12th and 13th or 13th and 14th of this month. Uh, but they had two days, and I ordered some stuff, and, and I know she did too. Uh, so we're kind of going to do that. But I'm also going to add in some other stuff I haven't talked about in the past that I've gotten in recently. Um, I don't do hauls that much anymore. I'm concerned about these these wolves. Uh, and so, you know, I just, I'm trying to stay away from uh, what might be of concern to them or or uh, be a target for them. <clears throat> I will tell you some of the freeze-dried things that I get here and there. And uh, of course, I gave you everything I ordered from uh, Nutrient Survival here in the last video. Uh, I'm putting in an order for Nutrient Survival. I also have my standing fourth of the month order from Thrive Life. I'm cutting down on my Thrive Life and shifting some of that money over to Nutrient Survival. Uh, so, But I, I wanted to share with you some of the things I've gotten here in the recent past and the reasons for it. So uh, I was watching Alaska Prepper, and he recommended one of these. Uh, this is, oops, I'm losing light. Uh, this is a uh, sealed, and it's got a nice little scraper cleaner. But this is a double wall, uh, hot, uh, keep your meal hot uh, for your lunch pan type of a thing. And this is what he uses to cook his uh, nutrient survival stuff. So I said, you know, that's not a bad idea. So I went to Walmart, picked one up and uh, did my um, uh, lasagna in that and it worked out w extremely well i think <laughs> thank you alaska prepper that was a a great job uh really appreciate the recommendation and it worked out extremely well um some other things that i picked up here in the recent past uh, well this was this was amazon days so uh they had the back to basics book uh, on sale 50 percent off they had uh, a rack for my uh, Dutch oven, and that's so that I can put down on the inside and use it to make bread so that the bottom of the bread doesn't get burnt. And then I picked up a couple packs of uh, uh, maximum lidocaine patches uh, to use on, on any kind of sore muscles or anything like that. I also ordered another uh, Faraday bag. That was kind of expensive. That wasn't on sale. That was $64. Um, then uh, in the recent past, I've uh, I was watching Bougie Prepper, and Bougie Prepper was had a fantastic new thing. I, all my ferro rods and everything are so old that I'm not aware of all this new neat stuff that's coming out. And uh, Bougie Prepper did a, a video on this neat German thing. It's it's a uh, uh, hemp cord with a, a little thing here, so you can smash this down, and and you have tinder basically. You can strike a mat, you can strike a uh, uh, ferro rod and get a spark on there start that and then use it to start your fire and then just lift this up to extinguish it when you're when you're done i thought that was one of the coolest things i've seen i said wow i had better check out uh fire starting stuff because uh, evidently if bougie found that and i didn't know anything about it i'm obviously not keeping up with modern standards uh so i ordered one and i ordered this one um gosh i don't even remember the name of it now uh, but what, what attracted me to it um, is it's got the ferro rod with a brass handle. It, it has the same thing that Bougie Prepper showed me, this hemp cord with a uh, suppressor on it. It had some fat wood. It comes in this nice little thing. It has a nice striker. But the main reason I wanted it was I was looking through Amazon was it has a telescoping uh, straw that you can use to, you know, gently get your blaze uh, going, get your, your, your spark uh, to where it's burning in a fire and not worry about getting your face too close to the fire. Uh, so I thought that was worth this whole kit. Uh, so that's why I bought it. Uh, then I was talking with one of the guys in my prepping group and uh, telling him what I wanted to do. And he recommended, he says, did you know that there is a guy here in Austin who, who does uh, ferro rods and everything else you need to check him out and order his stuff so i did I, I i checked him out and i ordered his stuff and this is called um texas bushcraft so it looks like this it's a fire starter what's really neat oh i'm, I'm gonna lost it I, I had oh there it is uh what's really neat is it's got this uh, it's got a nice ferro rod 
I'm going to do I'm going to do an experiment and show all these ferro rods and show you which one I think I like the best. It's got a pretty good striker uh, system with it, and it's got this paracord. But what's really neat about the paracord is that inside it's got three different components. It's got a thread, it's got fishing line, and then this red one is basically a fire starter. So you can use that and put your spark on it, and it's going to. Uh, uh, kind of combust and be a good tender for you. So I thought that was a great idea. So I ordered that. That's Texas uh, Bushcraft Fire Starting Kit. And uh, I'll be giving that, I'll be doing a review on that. So I was watching somebody who was having quite a hard time with ferro rods. And I said, you know, maybe what I need to do is, is do a, a uh, thing on ferro rods and fire starting and, and let people know some of the different things you can do and what works for me. Um, so, you know, so that's why I ordered those. Uh, and then um, I ordered another one. Uh, I thought this one looked very intriguing. It's kind of along the same lines as what Boucher Prepper had. Uh, but this is another German. Uh, let me see. I think it's German. I could be wrong on that. No, this is from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, but anyhow, it's got this nice little uh, uh, striker or... or bar system here so it's got the jute twine just as the others and uh, you pull this protective sheath here off let me get that taken care of and this is becomes your striker so you can pull the jute twine through and of course as you're striking it's going as you're striking it's going to go right down onto the jute twine so i thought that was fantastic so i'll be giving that a try too um, in the past the, the best uh, uh, ferro rod that I've had. I've, I've had two real good ones that I liked. Um, and, and I like thicker rather than thinner. Uh, one of them I got from Dave Canterbury's uh, Self-Reliance Outfitters. And the other one I got from uh, uh, Mora Knives. And uh, so both of those, I was very, very impressed with both of those. Um, I, I don't like when I have to strike more than once or twice to get a, an ember to go um, starting a fire and both of those were very good so as a matter of fact uh the one i got from uh, mora knives is my most common one what you're going to notice is normally uh when you're using a ferro rod and you're and you're using it it has a protective black outer uh coating and as you scrape it it becomes more silver but this one's been used quite a bit and look at that it's, it's got a uh, a grayish color to it rather than uh the, you can see up here this is this hasn't been struck on uh, it's it's very definitely black compared to let me see if I can get this right here there you go uh, so you can see here that there's a you can see the silver here and then it's black here but it it doesn't come out as silver as, as the other ones that I've used in the past so uh, you know I thought that was kind of neat but anyhow and then I did get myself a new t-shirt and uh, on on uh, Amazon Prime Day so I like my new t-shirt and I'll probably wear this here very near future it says make 1984 fiction again so kind of my political comment about uh, the stuff that's going on in our country and uh, but anyhow that's all the stuff that i picked up and uh here in the recent oh let me tell you about my orders my food orders of course i i, I shared with you all the stuff i ordered from uh, nutrient survival on uh on on the previous video uh i also got in i always some foods had some a lot of their foods on sale 50% off so I got a can of chili two cans of uh, uh, bread and scone uh, mix and one can of biscuit mix so I've got four cans coming in uh, for uh, Algerson Farms uh, I also got in my um, uh, Thrive Life order and this month for Thrive Life I had a number 10 can of mushrooms a number 10 can of cheddar cheese uh, PC can which is about a two and a half can of grilled chicken and a PC can of shrimp and so that about does it for this month but uh, uh, Let me know if anybody else got anything on Amazon Prime Day and and uh, see what we can share Y'all have a great day to remember we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together Take care. This is Lee the Cold War Prepper because we're all in this together. Bye-bye